welcome back for Wine of the Week again. Uh, this week I'm really, really excited about this wine. This is um, what I consider to be more of a trophy, kind of a special, very elegant wine. Uh, something from a young, up-and-coming uh, winemaker, kind of like next generation, which is really cool and a lot of fun. And fantastic wine uh, with an elegant dish at Dante, which definitely screams Dante all the day. So I'll let Mags talk about the wine. So, this wine, the winemaker is Aaron Pott. Now, Aaron Pott has quite the resume. He kind of really got his first big start working at a Grand Cru Class A house in Bordeaux, which is like quite the way to start. But he worked his way there. He's working at Mondavi in the research lab. Um, he met Michel Roland, who got him hooked up with this job in France. It's, it's kind of about who you know. He's exposed himself. He's, he's a, smart, it seems like. A, yeah, so. He gets out um, there, Michel, gets it done. Michel Roland, John Kongsgaard, um, Mondavi, Beringer Estate. Worked at Kongsgaard? Yeah. You know how I feel about Kongsgard. Phil loves Kongsgard. Love Maybe we'll Kongsgard. do that one of these days. Anyway, sticking to Aaron Pott though, um, you'll find that he's he's really hot, doing a lot of great consulting work for some other labels. But this is the best. This is a rocky world. It this is rocking my world, Mags. I love it. This is um, his personal project. You it's just get, so elegant. Yeah, you won't get anything better it's from so elegant. Pot than what he's doing himself. So this is a Cabernet from Spring Mountain. Except we can't really pronounce the name of the no, wine. Come on, right. come on, bring it. Kahilomanak. Kahilomanak. <laughs> Which is off of Spring Mountain. The name is uh, taken from Indian. It loosely means, I mean, you could loosely translate it as Indian orgy, but it is. It, it's, <laughs> wow, she else? went there. Yeah, we're having a little fun well, with this. It's Naked Woods uh, People Friendly. Naked Woods People Friendly. Huh. Um, and that's just taken from local Indian tribe. Well, you had to populate the planet back then. I mean, you had to... Right. So, um, this was a no-brainer site for him. He fell in love with it when he first came across it. His winemaking style, he, he's the first one to admit it. He's not shy about it. He's not gentle. He beats the crap out of the grapes meaning higher temperature extractions. He's not all general gravity feed and all this other stuff. Yeah, I heard about. he's a really cool guy. I've had some guests that I've sold the wine to that I told them the story about Aaron without meeting him and he went to the winery and they the coolest, like very earth. hospitable and yeah. just a good dude. So super, super cool guy. Very happy to support people like that in the business. Yeah. So, but the wine is, this is, it's phenomenal. Like. Great extraction and depth and power, wow. but in incredibly well balanced and so much finesse to it. Can we eat, Mags? Yeah, let's eat. Today, the chef made a rabbit saddle. The saddle cut is kind of, you know, the shoulders down, a uh, little bone through the center. You have the braised endive. You have a green olive tomato risotto with a little sun-dried tomato pesto. Uh, looks like it's finished with a little veal demi-glace. This just looks amazing. It smells great, too. I think it's gonna go really well. I don't know, that, that wine is killer. The wine is killer, Mags. This is one of your Coravin offerings, right? Yeah, you can come in, get it by the glass, you want to try out. It's a really nice thing about the Coravin, you don't have to commit to the whole big price of a bottle. Just get a few ounces and, and see if you like it and introduce to new things and kind of branch out of what you're normally used to. It almost reminds me of Thanksgiving. That's when you're doing your job right. Blue wine comes out. The earthiness and rabbit. I try. My wife gets mad at me. I always want to do like weird, obscure meats for Thanksgiving. She's like, no, yeah, the kids aren't gonna like it. No one's gonna like it. I mean, that's how we gotta teach people how to like it. Try something yeah. new. Yeah. You know, it doesn't bite you. You bite it. Great, super powerful wine, but not overwhelming. Perfect with the gamey flavors of the rabbit. It's delicious. Yeah. Thanks, Megs. Pleasure. That's appreciate it. Thank you, Aaron Pot, for making great wine. Yeah, we appreciate it. That's a super fun treat. Cheers. Thank you.